All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all keeping safe. The Division 2 and Heartland news is cancelled for Ubisoft Forward. Now, when I say cancelled, I don't actually mean cancelled as it was never scheduled, I don't believe. I'm just saying cancelled. You guys know exactly what, what I'm trying to say here. Uh, basically, we're not going to be hearing anything new uh, this Saturday with the Ubisoft Forward event. And I have to say that I'm actually okay with this, and I'm going to explain why in this video. Also, there are more hints that State of the Game will be returning at some point as well, likely uh, when the next major content update comes out, which I believe is still on track for the end of this year, as per the uh, massive statement uh, that came out a couple of days ago. Uh, and I want to take a look at that in this video, so drop a like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my videos, and let's get into this. Alright, so let's just start off with the message that we got from Massive on their official Twitter page. Uh, as you can see here, it says a message from the division teams. Agents, we won't be at Ubisoft Forward this year, but we invite you all to tune in alongside us to hear the exciting announcement across other Ubisoft titles. The division teams are still hard at work. New content for the division two is on track for the end of the year, while Heartland will have additional tests available for players interested in signing up. We look forward to sharing more when we can. So, first thing I'm going to say about this is it, it came as a surprise to receive this announcement. Not that we're not seeing anything, because actually um, I didn't expect to see anything with Ubisoft Forward. Certainly for the Division 2 stuff, I, I was probably expecting maybe some more Heartland uh, some Heartland news or some trailer for Heartland possibly because the uh, the rumors that I were hearing was it was going to come out in July I don't think that's happening now so I was kind of a little bit surprised uh, maybe the Heartland stuff but uh Overall, what I was most surprised about, I guess, was the communication before the event. Because, let's be honest, guys, uh, if you've been playing The Division for any amount of time, you'll, you'll soon realise that the communication isn't always great. And certainly when it comes to events, it's very rare, I don't think it's ever been the case, that we've been informed prior to the event that we're not going to hear anything about The Division before that event. And... In many ways, I was preparing for that, right? I was preparing for Ubisoft Forward on Saturday to get onto it, get watching it, and uh, see if we had any Division news, uh, whether that be Division 2, Heartland, or even Battle Cats, which, if you've watched a previous video of mine, then you'll know is the mashup between the Division, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, and Splinter Cell? No. The Division, Splinter Cell, something else. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's a, it's a mashup. It's like an Overwatch Ubisoft game which was leaked uh, a little while ago. So I was maybe expecting to hear some uh, um, about that one, but it's, it's very rare that we get told prior to an event. So in many ways, I kind of have to say well done for the developers for saying some a week basically in advance of the event, because I think this was out on maybe Tuesday or so. So uh, I guess in, in that respect, it's really, really good. Uh, now, why am I why am I okay with with not hearing anything about the Division Two or even Heartlands? Not so much Heartlands actually. Let's just stick to the Division Two for this one. Why am I okay with that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first reason is that trailers um, that are required for events like this they can take a lot of manpower. Now, it might not seem like much. Say, so for example, if I was to make a trailer, or maybe not me, because I can't make trailers, but if someone competent was to make a trailer, like a YouTuber that could make a trailer, maybe someone like uh, Buzz Lightbeer, for example, if he was to make a trailer, that might take him a week or two, right? Um, and so that doesn't seem like a whole lot of manpower when you consider Ubisoft is a, is a massive company, and massive themselves are, are, are a big part of that. But it's not as simple as that. When it comes to businesses and stuff, it will take a week or two for them to decide exactly what frames need to go where and what they want to show and what they don't want to show, etc., etc. It'll take a week or two for someone to actually make the trailer, probably longer than that, actually. And then it will take four weeks for the company to sign off and then for it to, to be ready to go. And unfortunately, that's just going to take manpower away from what I hope to be good content at the end of this year. And I'd much rather them just focus on making that content uh, for the end of this year. And also, importantly, to get that content out um, at the end of this year, which they say they're on track for. Uh, because I think a lot of people were worried that we wouldn't get it this year. A lot of people were worried we'd probably get it next year, which is one of one of my worries. Um, so it's good to hear as well that it is on track for the end of the year. And and, and throwing in a trailer there, which you know may, may hype us a little bit, but throwing in a trailer there when 
it's not really needed at this stage, especially because you know it's not going to be out for the content's not going to be out for at least another six months. I think it's going to be start of December, probably somewhere around the start to the middle of December that we get this new content. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to have trailers and stuff at this point, and I'd much rather they just focus on the game in hand. Also, what I will say is that um, last year uh, there was a Ubisoft Forward event twice, I believe. Um, there was one in September of 2020. The chances are we're going to get another UB Ford event in September 2020 of this year. And if we are going to hear anything about The Division 2 in terms of what's coming, I suspect that'll be when we get maybe a trailer or something like that. When, when it's coming more towards the end of uh, of that uh, that content being being made and it going through other stuff like quality control and all, and all that sort of stuff. So that's one that I anticipate us to hear some. If we didn't hear anything at that Ubisoft Forward event, if we get one in September of this year, then I'd be a little bit worried. Um, but I don't think that's the case, and I think we'll probably hear about what's coming more uh, between obviously now and September. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, so overall, I'm not not overly fussed that we're not hearing anything about the Division Two at this point. Uh, Heartlands is a little bit different because, I, I, as I said, I expected it to come out in July. That was the rumours. They're not always true, obviously, but unfortunately you build those expectations. Uh, when you hear about stuff, rumours, whatever, you get expectations. And more often than not, when it comes to the Division, those expectations are like here for a lot of people. Uh, and when the game comes out or when we hear something, the expectation, you know, it hits about here, right? So you're not hitting those expectations. This actually goes back to the trailer, guys, is... More than likely, uh, and the devs have said this before, Yannick specifically has said this before, what they don't want to do is say, we're going to give you this, this, that, and the other. And a trailer will do that, right? It will show this, that, and the other, and people will dissect it. YouTubers, myself, whatever, will dissect it uh, to its absolute minute details, right? And they'll set expectations for everyone. And if they don't meet those expectations, then overall, people are not going to be happy, even if the content is good. So... Um, that's another reason why I, I didn't expect something like a trailer at this point a, 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 anyway. Heartlands, as I said, was a bit different. I, I was expecting it to come out earlier, but maybe Heartlands won't come out as well until uh, maybe, I don't know, towards the end of the year. That would make sense as well. Um, so so overall, not that fuss. Now, just moving on quickly towards the uh, state of the game. It's been, what, six months since we've had State of the Game. Uh, obviously, um, Hamish is gone now. He used to host State of the Game. Uh, he's moved on. And uh, this comment was actually put out to the, the devs in response to the article or their, their tweet about not attending UB Forward. Kamikaze Von Doom, another uh, YouTuber who, um, who makes Division content and I believe other content as well, um, actually responded saying, on a serious note, will we ever see community engagement on the same note as State of the Game? Or is that type of community engagement and communication not coming back? These dev messages are not coming off in a positive tone. Um, to which Yannick responded saying, I surely hope so. It's still too early to share details of what we're working on, but that doesn't mean there shouldn't be any interactions at all with the community. We're still looking for a community developer to take on that mantle. So I believe the community developer job listing has been up a little while now. It doesn't look as though they found anyone, but they are trying to find someone to fill that gap, fill that void between developers and uh, you know us as uh, as the players uh, whether that be in the form of a state of the game i don't know i mean yannick said i surely hope so but he could just be responding to the fact um to to the question of us having community engagement uh, between us and the developers rather than state of the game but it's it's possible that we get state of the game coming back with year three it, it's definitely possible i hope so i did really enjoy state of the game even when the devs come on and didn't really say a whole lot I still enjoyed it a lot because um, it was just nice to interact with uh, the devs for the game. Plus, not really any other games do this. And it's kind of a staple of this franchise, which I hope doesn't go away. Um, but that's it, guys. That's really it for today's video. Unfortunately, it's not great news. Um... For some of you guys, as Kamikaze Von Doom says there, uh, there are people that are not happy that we're not seeing anything with um, Ubisoft Forward. But hopefully I've been explaining to you why I'm actually not that bothered about it uh, and why actually I'd rather the devs just not focus on trailers, not focus on hype at this point, keep their heads down and get this content <clears throat> to a good place before uh, the content obviously comes out. Hopefully we'll hear some at maybe at UB Forward in September if there is one. But no doubt it won't be long 
fingers crossed, it won't be long before we hear some more news about the Division 2. I suspect we'll hear more about Heartlands before uh, we do the Division 2, though, as there are going to be further tests coming for that. Uh, I've already signed up for it, so we'll have to see if that comes through. And the chances are we're going to hear more about Battle Cats, um, which I believe is a code name. I don't know if that's actually going to be the name of... Uh, the actual game. I think that's kind of the, the project name or the code name for this for this mashup of Ubisoft titles. So what I will say is we may hear more about that game at uh, UB Forward. Uh, and so if we do, obviously I'll cover it here with you guys and let you guys know exactly what's going on with that. It's, it looks interesting, um, but we need to see a whole lot more before we make any kind of assumptions as to what this game will be and whether it's going to be successful or not. But that's it, guys. Hopefully you all have a good weekend. Unless some huge news comes out tomorrow, then there won't be any video from me tomorrow or this weekend. I'll, I'll have some stuff for you next week, guys. So have a good one. Until the next one, epic out.